Here we go. Alright, so today it is day one of uh, pretty much getting everything organized for this seminar, the setup. We have a lot of space to work with. Uh, there's a lot of, we're, the, the apprentices right now, they are painting the shop. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see what we need today. We're gonna take everything out, lay it all out on the floor, make sure that I have, I wanna see what I have first. And after that, I'll figure out what I need so we can go to the store and get those things uh, ready. What I'm thinking is putting the banners as a background right here. I'm not sure how or how I'm gonna hang them. Having the TVs in the front and maybe my logo in the back, but I feel like TVs are big though, so you might not see them. See them. Yeah, just depending on how those TVs line up, mm -hmm. um, probably would probably put them higher. We just picked up the tables. Uh, we got two small tables. Uh, we're gonna go back to the laundry mat and uh, put the um, tablecloths to dry. While that's happening, we'll go back to the shop and set up the tables, see what we need, uh, and then go back to the laundry mat, pick up the tablecloths, and head to Walmart, uh, five and below, I think it's called, and uh, the art supply store. We just got back from getting a lot of different stuff and now what I'm gonna do is test out this HDMI splitter. So it's supposed to have a cable going through here uh, to, that connects to my camera and I can uh, use both TVs. Yes. There it is. Yes. Hold on. Yes. Ah, two TVs. That's so sick. Ah, yes, 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 yes. I was so worried it was not gonna work. Nice. <laughs> That's so sick. It's looking more official now. We just put on the, the banners are up. This wrestler, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I don't know. I thought about putting it like right here, but looks weird. Today it is one day before the seminar. My main focus today is to pretty much organize everything with the tables and um, looking over everything I'm missing so I can put it on a list so we can go get it and then rehearse. I have to rehearse what I'm gonna say tomorrow and just kind of go over all the schedules from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, things that I'm gonna be teaching, how I'm gonna teach it. By rehearsing, what I wanna do is basically um, make it simple to understand. Explaining something so complex like how to do color, how to do cover-ups can be very frustrating. So my main goal is to come in, simplify it for them to really understand it so they can go home and apply it. What happened, man? It's no, it's man. It, yeah, it's, it's a little bad, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it's not that bad. Let me take a, a quick drip. little, I'll show you. A little drip somewhere? Oh my lord. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We just got here to um, my sponsor's uh, store. It's higher level tattoo supply store. We're picking up machines, we're picking up the inks, needles, everything that we're gonna be using and giving to the students. Uh, uh, we're picking it up right now, so let's go inside. We got the machines here, all the machines. Then we have fake skins, uh, fake skins uh, Starbright. Starbright, and yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we got everything. Uh, let me check it off the checklist here. I forgot to get a few things, actually. Let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had it, but I didn't. Okay. But bright, bright blue, dark, bright blue. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> Look at this. This is what Marcos got. This. 
I didn't order the large. You definitely want it. Look at my juice compared to his big ass bike. <laughs> <laughs> Did we take care of everything we need to do? Yes, I think I think we have. I think we won't know until we set up the tables. Yes. Once we set up the tables, we'll be like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> the right. machines are missing. <laughs> the machine. <laughs> Let's test out the HDMI for the tablet to make sure that we can see it on both TVs. All right, we just got the tablet hooked on. You know the vibes. Just in time for that oh. clip. Oh. Let's fuck it up. Let's go. It's been a long day today. Not healthy, but this is what we need right now after a very stressful day. My burger looks juicy, bro. Look at that. Get the lemonade mm. too. Back on the grind. We 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 trying to get this ready to go. We out here sweating. Uh, what I want to do is rehearse how I'm going to explain the the way I do color. I think that's one of the hardest things because I can't just show up to that seminar and be like, yeah, I look at it and I suddenly know how to mix. <laughs> you know, it's 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 more complicated than that. But my thought process, uh, I have to simplify it for them to understand. Uh, I'm just gonna mix my primary colors here and make all the tones you can imagine with it. It will get you really far. Instead of relying on a whole bunch of inks, like let's just say you put out 50 inks in one single session and you have to rely. Oh, That's okay. <laughs> Technical difficulties, but. Don't zoom in, you yeah? know? And then after that, now to make it brighter now, just moving on to here, you just keep adding white. So the dirty part of the cartridge is helping you at this point. Because now you're just creating values until you reach so, uh, just pure white. See that? Yeah. Well, I feel, I feel so much better now that I was able to explain color. I feel so much better now. Uh, in this situation, I don't know if I would take a 50 year old or 60 because the skin wouldn't allow me to do my best work at that point. That's it. <laughs> All right. I'm done. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. It's time. I, uh, everybody's checking in right now. Everybody's uh, arriving to the shop. Uh, they're eating their breakfast. And um, I'm just up here <laughs> before. I talk for the next three days, just kind of taking it all in, uh, relaxing, and just making sure that everything's running properly, the electronics and stuff like that. So, um, man, I can I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I always get nervous, but I know I everybody's gonna be learning a lot, and I know I'm prepared to teach them uh, the way I'm supposed to, so they can understand everything that I'm gonna be. Uh, showing them and stuff like that so all right well let's 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 get it started then I've been doing covers now for I'm gonna say five years now three years I started calling myself as a cover-up artist those first two years uh, stressful because <laughs> I would wake up have you guys ever woken up to a piece that you don't know if you're gonna get it done right and then you just create this like anxiety in your chest and you're like oh man I'm not ready for this but somehow I'm just gonna do it that was me for 12 months straight like I would weekly I would wake up and I'm like oh my stomach got to know Kevin uh, his personality pretty much matches what he shows on the internet it's it's amazing his style is totally different from what i've brought up and what i've learned so it's been good so far yeah that fool's straight up just like he is on video man <laughs> it's he's out there he's loud he's he's kind of like too, really energetic really energetic coming here in the morning talking amongst ourselves you know sharing life breaking bread my man's always taking care of you with food by the way the most important part before you even book a client. 
The first question once you meet that person is ask them, how old is a tattoo? And I have actually applied the scribble technique when I do color, when I do true grays, when I do cover-ups, all that. The experience has been amazing, um, especially coming from a tribal aspect, Polynesian tribal aspect. Heavy line work, heavy black work, a lot of detail, precision lines into this 5.0 volt. Don't rush anybody. I clear my day for my consultation. I pick a spot already where they know who I am already, so they understand that I'm gonna be there for a while. Uh, because it can take some time. Sometimes I'm there for three hours, sometimes I'm there for four, but uh, I got patience. I'm there to listen until we figure it out. I will not leave that restaurant until we're 100% committed to one concept. I do a lot of cover-ups at back home, but I do the way I do it, right? So now coming to who potentially is one of the best cover-up artists in, in, the, in the States right now, to learn his technique and, and now to go back home and I'm like anxious to try something. Actually on the 11th, I have a cover up to do on the 11th. So now I'm like thinking, hell yeah, dude, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna try that, I'm gonna do this. And it's just, I think it's, I'm gonna tackle it full, full force. Then my quality went up, my prices went up. And the reason why people come to me, it is because I'm providing a service that you can't find in state. You know, if somebody comes from New York, they look everybody everywhere in New York, they couldn't do it, so they had to find someone that specializes in, no matter if they had to travel. That's where it is. That's when people start looking for you because you're the only person that can get it done. My experience has been really great, honestly. Like, I felt like everything that I've learned, uh, just kind of like taking it to another level and expanding my knowledge uh, is challenging me a lot, but I feel like I'm gaining a lot more from it. The way, the best way to look at it is uh, keep that richness alive around the highlight area. Once you start getting closer to the highlight area, that's when you switch to your pale colors. So it can give you that smooth transition between bright, between dark, bright, and pale. So on day one, he tells you everything that you need to know for day two and three, kind of sets you up for success for those two days. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be tattooing Kayo here, uh, and he's going to be getting a horror tattoo. Uh, I'll send you guys the design right now so you guys can stencil it tonight. I'm glad you got the hang of it. I am so glad you got the hang of it. Thank you. I was like, I'm not leaving until everybody gets to reach that tone, I swear. <laughs> Scream cuts in the building! <laughs> That's so sick. Dude, I'm so happy you made it. I'm so excited. I'm so happy you made it. Thanks for inviting me, bro. And I just want to thank you guys for coming to the seminar. Day one, it was amazing. Day two and three are going to be even more insane. So I'm so happy that you guys made, made it, alright? Arriba, abajo, al centro. Y para adentro. Today is day two. We went out of yesterday from, uh, I mean, technically we got here, what, like 7.30. We ended up leaving around nine or 10. And it was a long day. It was a, lot, a long day of talking. That's why my voice sounds a little low today. I, I talked for, <laughs> for nine hours yesterday. And, um, and also we had a DJ, so it was really loud. So I, I had to really yell a little bit. The good thing is that today is the day that we tattoo. So it's my element. All I got to do is tattoo, explain my process and put everything to practice. Everything we learned yesterday, we're going to put it to practice today. So something really cool happened this week. Uh, I was using this product for the longest time. And sadly, I don't know what happened to the company, but they disappeared. And out of nowhere, by the way, it's probably one of the best products I've used on putting with uh, as far as products that put on stencils. And suddenly this week, I get this package here on my toolbox. I come in and I open it up and it's a care package from the company. And I, I immediately message the company. I'm like, yo, like, is this back on the market? And apparently the company now is back in business. So they're going to be making a whole bunch of Jesus juices again. And I honestly, I'm, I'm just super happy. 
Those are big nuggets. <laughs> Every single line is scarred. I like to start with the black because it lets me know how dark the piece actually is. Day two was really when we started to tattoo and um, we could really see how that scribble technique was gonna take place. You know, um, Kevin, Kevin is super tight with his scribble technique. The scribble method, because I feel like scribble method creates texture and I feel like that's where tattooing is almost evolving to now. And I feel like that'll kind of separate yourself from like from all the smooth shading and things like that. Really, his scribble technique—it's—it's mm -hmm. it's crazy how how it it looks crazy at first, but it makes sense. Uh, like even though he's really pale, I already packed in so much black, but his skin is not red, you know. And that is because I'm I'm being very careful with my four, with my 5.0 voltage. It's it opens up the skin a little bit more, and it heals it up lighter. So that's why I always tattoo cover us with liners because I need it to stay as dark as it can. Let me know once you're done uh, packing your blacks before I start doing the gray tones so we can do them together. Man, my experience this weekend has been, um, what's the word, inspiring. Yeah, dude, I come over here and he's, uh, Ray is sharing a lot of information that I'm just like, I can't wait to go back home and, and try it out and implement it on the stuff that I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm kind of like anxious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's inspirational, man, for sure. And informative. It's fun. I can put this on any of these ink caps and it would change the color so fast. And the reason I have two rows, it is because sometimes if I dip my black into this one, you're already making this your darkest tone. And I leave this one to make it into my brightest tone. See, I like it, it's still looking a little dark for me. So I'm gonna go back to my brown. So right now is the easiest part because all I'm doing is mixing black and brown. And I'm leaving this gap in the middle because I do see some grays in there. So whatever I use on the chin area, I'm going to use the same tone on the bottom. Back to the color theory, we are tattooing a Michael Jordan portrait. <laughs> I've never used this much color in my life, I promise you. The color, the color portrait, that stood out the most, you know. Um, it looks so easy, Mr. Reyes makes it look so easy in the videos. Um, but once you're down to it, it's, it's, a, it's a challenge, you know. So I feel like that part is what stood out the most, you know, the, the challenge. Uh, everything was done with the 14 mile liner uh, and everything just healed up so nice. There's no uh, scars, no nothing. Uh, with the 5.0, I just went in. Just like little subtle things. A lot of the things were freehand too. All I had was just the simple stencil, like this squares and this, and I freehanded this whole entire thing. All, everything that's inside and bottom, I just made it up as I was tattooing. <sighs> well guys, this concludes the seminar. Thank you guys for coming, honestly. It was amazing getting to know you guys and I hope we can stay in touch. I'm gonna be following back everybody. If you guys have any questions, reach out. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. Oh man.